Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, this is Bully Scholarship Wii, and today I'm going to be starting my very first Let's Play, and it is going to be Spyro the Dragon. Uh, one of my favorite games from my childhood, and one of my favorite games of all time as well. Insomniac Games, oh yes. It's a shame they got rid of Spyro, because after Insomniac ditched them, eh, sort of went downhill, in my opinion at least, that is. Can't say I loved, you know, the uh, later releases after the first three, I guess. So uh, let's get started. Yes, we will override it. Um, yeah, pretty much. I don't know why I'm talking about. Um, in the world of dragons. Oh yes. Oh, I'll be quiet for this. Okay, rolling. Oh, it's been peaceful here in the five worlds, or is it six? <laughs> For a dragon's age, we now have 12,000 treasure, or is it 14,000? What about this Ganasty Ganort character? Now, I understand he's found a magic spell to turn gems into warriors for his cause. I'll take that question. Nasty Nort is a simple creature. Simple. He has been contained in a remote world and is no threat to the Dragon Kingdom. No threat! <laughs> Besides, he is ugly. That does it! Looks like I've got some things to do. Oh, yes, Spyro. I must say, I do like Spyro's later voice actor in the second and third. Which is actually funny. I realized it was Tom Kenny. I had no idea. Um. Guy that does the voice of SpongeBob. All right, so here we are in the very first world. Um, for those who do not know, this game is a platforming game uh, with very simple controls. Um, I'm only released on the original PlayStation, and I believe it's re-released on the PS3 and PlayStation Network Store, um, so you can get it on the PSP, which I would actually like to do, or at least the second one for sure. Um, yep, so you can move around with either the controls or the uh, <laughs> the controls. The uh, up, down, right, left buttons, which I don't know why you would, because those are terrible, or the analog stick. And here's the first thing we'll be collecting in this game, and that's freeing dragons. Nestor. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Free ten dragons in the artisan world. Then find the balloonist. He'll transport you to the next world. <laughs> what about Nasty Newark? I'm going after him. Find dragons first. That's all I can okay. Do. We're there, dude. So yes, the first thing we'll be collecting is dragons. That's pretty much the most... Well, I wouldn't say it's the most important thing, but it sort of goes with the story, at least. Uh, the next thing is treasure, or I would just call it gems. Um, there's different amounts for each color. Red is one. Green... Oh, fail. Uh, it's the LP curse. Um, green, I believe, is two. Yep. Confirm that. Um, enemies drop gems in this game, you can flame them or charge them, depending on the enemy, some of them have metal armor, so you have to charge them, because flaming them just doesn't do anything, and some of them are very large, and they require you to flame them, because you can't charge something massive. Um, the little, uh, Dragon 5 following me, uh, that's pretty much your health indicator, his name is Sparks, and, uh, oh, as demonstrated by this guy, some enemies do take more than one attack to kill them. Um, it's usually more just the mini-bosses and stuff, so I don't know. You're not going to run into them that often. Delbin. They have unique names. Where's Nasty Nork? I'll <laughs> torch him. Keep your horns on, Spyro. You have much to learn first. Do you know what the dragonfly following you is doing? Um... His name is Sparks, and he's helping and protecting you. Keep an eye on him and see what I mean. Okay. That guy almost sounded like Mr. Krabs for a second there. I don't know. A little bit deeper. Um, but yeah. What was I saying? Oh yeah, Sparks is our health indicator pretty much. Every time you get hit, he'll change color. Uh, the most healthy he is, is right now it's the gold color. Um, after you get hit once, it tur he turns blue. And, uh, after you get hit another time, he turns green. And after that, if you get hit another time, he disappears. And, uh... Um, if you get hit again, you just die. 
And to make him more healthy, he can eat butterflies, or if he's gone, he'll just reappear again after you flame a sheep or other thing that produces butterflies. Um, i trying to think if it's always sheep in this game, I'm not quite sure, but uh, in the other games they're a little bit different looking sometimes. Um, but yeah. Whoops. Argus. Cool flash! Do that again! The artisan's boss is through a portal in the dragon mouth. But you are not yet ready, Spyro. You are not First, ready. You complete one of the other artisan lands. Okay, my, we'll do that. Bloody. Okay, so yes, um, that's the boss. Every homeworld has its boss. Um, but I don't know why. I don't know. I, I'm just gonna go in. Uh, I don't know, just an order that I chose. Um, we're gonna be doing the three basic worlds in each homeworld, and then we'll do the boss, and then we'll end the world with the flight level. Um, this one, I guess, is actually hidden. Uh, this is the balloonist. Uh, this guy takes you to the other worlds, um, but I'm not gonna go to the next world until I complete everything, because unlike the second and parts of the third, there is no backtracking in this game, so you can get everything done in one sweep. So, we're gonna go back here. Get some treasure here. Oh, let's free this buddy. Thomas. I think you were, some of these dragons appear a couple times. Hey Spyro, press the jump button twice to glide, and, and don't be afraid. Afraid? Of what? Falling from high mountain peaks, plummeting into prehistoric glaciers? Oh, Psh, that... Nothing. Yeah, um, so what the heck was I saying? Yeah, we're going to be doing everything, completing everything, no skipping stuff, you know. Um, however, if I do uh, LP the second game, uh, there will be some backtracking as some areas are not available to you at first and require other things and stuff like that. Uh, no, there's a couple gems back here. That might have been all of them. Let's just check just to make sure. Yeah, that should be all of them. Okay. Um, and then for the other controls, when you hold down the square button, you'll charge. X button to jump. Circle button to flame. Triangle button to get a good look around. Is what the other guys, uh, or is what some of the dragons will tell you later in the game. Uh, pretty much all the dragons teach you how to play, which is kind of cool, rather than modern video games that are just like, think you're a total idiot and just uh, have you read all the instructions before you start playing. That, that's kind of nice, I must say, that they teach you while you're playing and you learn from your mistakes and stuff. That's pretty sweet. Uh, here's another world, Town Square. Um, let's see, here's a chest. And we got a couple gems over here. Um, okay. Brings us to 94. Okay. And I believe I missed a couple back in the maze. I don't think I went in there. So let's get those last few, and then I think we got enough time to uh, go into the next world. Um, YouTube doesn't have a limit on my upload, so I'm going to probably do... 20-ish minute clips, I'm guessing. Something like that. At least that's the plan for now. That should be everything. Okay. And now we'll just hit pause, and it'll... Oh, wait, no, we're gonna hit select. And yes, we've completed the Artisan's Homeworld. Cool. Um, so yes. Let's go to one of my favorite levels. Um, at least as a kid I always liked this level, but Stone Hill. So, let's go right in. Ah, yes. Nice balance number. 100 gems. That's what I like about this game. And the other ones, sometimes you miss treasure, or, you know, you got backtracks, so you have a really weird number. This helps me stay organized when I play through these games, so I know where I've got all my stuff, and... I don't know. I'm pretty picky about that. <laughs> I'm sort of an organized freak sometimes. Uh, let's see. Oh. This guy, if you charge... Oh, never mind. Uh, later in the game, there'll be some... Oh, it's some bulls up there. They have, like, these big horns, and if you charge them, they'll fly back and get stuck on their horns, and then you can hit them again to kill them. Some enemies do take it multiple uh, hits, as I mentioned earlier. I guess they're not always just mini-bosses. Some of them are just... that's how they work. Uh, let's see. Oh, one more of these. I always like this level. It's so peaceful. Nice castle. It's all grassy. I love it. Let's see. Um, let's hop down the well here. Wow. 
Watch the dragonfly, Spyro. His color indicates his power. When he eats butterflies, he stays strong. Like me. Uh, sure. Sure. Oh yeah. Up we go. Not sure if my mic just cut out there. I'll have to test that. Because um, if it did, that would really suck. Uh, I'm using Gold Wave, but it, maybe it's because it's a trial one. I can only record so much audio. So, uh, we'll just see. Otherwise, I'll have to move on to a different program because I don't really want to buy anything else right now. I already spent enough money trying to set this up. Um, let's see. There we go. Alright. Aster. I think. That's how it's Happy you freed all the dragons. Pass through this fancy vortex uh, thingamajigger. It'll take you back to the artisan home. But first, let me tell you a story. No thanks. See ya. Yep, see you later, dude. Don't respect your elders, Spyro. Just kidding. Um, so this is pretty much the end of the level if you want to be lame and not do the whole thing. But you just jump in there, I'll take you home. Or I believe you can just hit pause and hit exit level, so... I don't know. I just so... I don't know. <laughs> I'm actually not sure why they really put those in, but... Whatever. Okay, down here's a little secret cave which has that key that we were looking for. Hooray! Okay. These ones, um, I guess I can't really show you now, but those chests cannot be flamed because they're metal, just like enemies with metal armor, so you gotta charge them. Okay, so let's go open up that chest and then we'll move on to the other areas here. When you're uh, to glide like that, you just hit X and that, and hit X again, and you'll start going, ah, oh, crap. Yep, like that. And don't jump into whirlwinds. Uh, just kidding, but yeah. So, and then when you're gliding, or, yeah, you can hit the triangle button and it'll drop you down. They did change this later in the games, which I like a lot more. Um, they give you a new ability, it's called Hover. Pretty much you flap your wings and get a little extra air. Um, it helps because the, the second and third game do have more difficult glides, so it makes sense. And I was already in here, so let's go this way. I'm just holding down uh, square and... X and you just do the whoops you just do this uh jump charge thing I always do that I don't know why but it's funny in this game because you barely jump at all Woo! okay so yeah um I'm trying to think if there's anything else I haven't covered um I think that's really about it oh here's a new enemy uh, these guys, I don't know, they're like sheep herders, sorta. I, I don't, they're like, I don't know what they're supposed to be, actually. They look kind of like a wizard dude, like, the, they got the beard going on. But they have, like, uh, like a staff sort of thing for, like, grabbing, like, sheep by the neck or whatever. So I, I don't really know what they're supposed to be. Evil shepherds, I guess? I, I don't know. Yeah, okay. Flame this bunghole and hop on up here. And we hear it. If you don't hear that sound, yeah, that's pretty much every time you hear that, there's gonna be a dragon nearby. Let's get that and let's free Gildas. Wow, these are strange names. Spyro, my friend, how about a hit on gliding? You bet. For the longest glide, press the X button at the top of a jump Ooh. and try pressing the triangle button to drop down in mid flight. You got it, dude. Just what I was talking about. So, yes. Um, X and hit triangle and you'll drop down like that. Okay. I always loved this area as a kid. Like, I always wish you could, like, go on forever and you can just wander around, like, happy green hills of happy. I don't know. Um, but I always liked that. <laughs> and... I remember treasure was always pretty well hidden out here for me. Like, I always had a difficult time locating it. Oh, and here's one of the new enemies. Uh, well, it's not really an enemy, it's more just a jerk. Uh, he's an egg thief. Um, stolen a dragon egg. And, oh, oh, man, I'm failing here. Normally these guys are really easy. And you just chase them and you'll get an egg. Um, eggs might seem irrelevant at this point in the game, but later, uh, you will need a certain amount to move on to the next home world. So, Definitely pick those up as well, and I believe it'll show it, yep, show it floating next to the uh, name there, so, yes. Um, 
Let's see if there's anything else. I know there's more treasure hidden here in the green happy hills of happy. Um, happy, happy, happy. If you know what that's from, you rock. Um, it's from Duck Dynasty. It's one of my favorite shows. Uh, it's that rich redneck family. I love that show. It's friggin' hilarious. <laughs> um, okay. So I some treasure right here. And let's run around this circle. Uh, sorry, I, if I, it looks like I'm playing kind of strange. I keep looking at my laptop to see how much time I've recorded. I just don't want to, like, go a crazy amount. You know, I think I... Or Gold Wave probably records up to 10 minutes. That would make more sense. So, I'll have to keep that in mind when I'm uh, doing an either... When I'm recording either to keep an eye for 10 minutes and start up a new audio recording or just, I don't know, find a different program. But I'll have to compare it with just like the voice recorder. But I was trying to set that up and it wasn't, it didn't seem to like my microphone that I was using. So that's why I just whipped out Gold Wave. But otherwise I'll have to check and see if there's another one. Um, let's see. Okay. Alright. Um, am I missing something? Because <laughs> this is pretty bad. I've been here already, I know. Yep. Oh, what the heck? Probably should have practiced it. I, you know, I played through this game just sort of to practice, uh, all the levels, and, but that was like two months ago, and now, you know, it's been a l little while since then. Um, let's go over here. Oh, psh, stupid. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Let's try this room, you know, with all the treasure, idiot. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't miss any up there, because I don't want to keep looking for that, but, uh... We'll have to see what happens. Oh, boy. And watch, I missed one. Oh, no, I didn't. Thank God. Okay, Lindar! When you free a dragon or step on one of their platforms, you're saving your progress. That could be useful if you run into trouble. Not that you ever run nope. into trouble, Nope, never. Thank you, Lindar, I think was his name. Yeah, and if you want to save your game any point, at any point, you can just here and go here and hit save game, or if you're dying to see the dragon animation again, you can hit that. So, I believe that that is everything in Stonehill. Um, I could just hit exit level, but we're going to be cool and go to the actual exit and hop in, just to show you guys what that's like and how amazing that is. Uh, whoops. You know... No matter how many times, I always get lost here in uh, knowing which tunnel to go through, but uh, whatever. We're almost there. Oh my gosh, I am so bad. Screw it. I'll show you guys in the next one. <laughs> uh, Alright, 200 brings our count up to 300 treasure. Excellent. So let's just head over to the next uh, area that we'll be doing. Oh, and here's another thing I'll show you quickly. Uh, after you've claimed an enemy's treasure and they, like, respawn, which is usually just if you, like, leave the level. And they don't just, like, respawn. It's not like a RPG or something. Um, they drop those little silver orbs, and you collect them, and you see it goes around that uh, your spinning head up there. You can see it in the upper right corner there. Uh, when you get a full circle, you get an extra life. Um, hopefully I won't be that needy for extra lives, but you know what? It can help you out, especially as a kid it did, I know. So next time, guys, we're going to be conquering Town Square and probably, uh, probably, oh, what's it called? Dark Hollow, I think it's called. But yeah, um, until next time, guys, uh, this has been Bully Scholarship Wii, and I've had a lot of fun doing this, so we'll see you next time. Peace.